Uh, welcome back everybody. Listen, if you've just done a Google search and you've ended up our verticals noisier than dipoles or whatever I decide to call it, and you've come to the right place. I have a theory. All right, my name's Callum and I've been building antennas oh, nearly 20 years. I make my living now out of making antennas. And I've got a theory when it comes to verticals. I've read all the documentation. I've read everything about polarization, all sorts of baloney. And but I have I have a theory. OK, so let's uh, draw something to scale. Well, first of all, let's just understand. All right. So a vertical on the ground, a vertical on the ground, as I say, and it's got some radials, whatever. Will receive and transmit very well. Uh, quite low to the ground. It depends on a few factors, but in the main, uh, fairly low to the ground. Whereas if we had a dipole at 20 something feet, 40, let's take 40 meters, just got a dipole, right, with a coax coming down, roughly 30 meter, 10 meter legs, roughly. Okay. Would, which one is going to be noisier, right? And why? Where is it noisy, right? Because I've gone out into the fields in the middle of nowhere with a vertical and it's whisper quiet. So, in other words, it's picking it up, all right? Now, the long, long and short of it is, I think this is actually doing the job we designed it for, because if we look at my screen here, I have designed, this is a vertical antenna for 40 metres. I'll take the currents off. Just bring that down. It's just a, just a uh, how long is this? It says 10.2 metres. In real life, that would be 10.2 nine was uh, 9.8 9, 9. anyway i ran the calculation just to have a look at the far field plot and a lot of you have seen this before on the channel left hand side is the helicopter view you know coming over the top of like a bumblebee and the right hand view is if we've sliced right through the middle of it and we can see the rf i can click this button here and show the elevation whoops at a very very specific angle say five percent and then i can go five degrees sorry I can run all the way around here and it will tell me that, well, basically it's saying that with the current ground I've got programmed into this, it'll give me minus 3.4 dBi. Whatever the hell that means, it doesn't matter because it's relative to the next antenna, okay? Minus 3.4, that's why on this channel sometimes we say minus 3.4 bananas. It doesn't really matter. So let's go to this one on the right-hand side here. This is a... A dipole looks like this. It's a flat top dipole, roughly 10 meter legs. Just a dipole again for 40 meters. I've put it up at six meters, 20 something feet, 22 feet, whatever that is. I mean, it doesn't matter what we make it out of, honestly, for this. All right. And I got the SWR at 1.3 to 1. I just did it moments ago. And I had a look at the far field plot here. And we can do five degrees again. And we can see that we were, we were comparing against this one here. It says minus. 3.4 bananas, this is minus 10.5 that direction and minus 15 in the other direction. So it's 12 dB worse off perpendicular to the, the plane, whatever that means. Making this stuff up sometimes. Minus 3.4. So in other words, it's picking it up really well. If we come really low down, right, because our we've got is the terrain, okay, and there's a house over here, house over here, and we suspect they've got a ton of fairy lights and all sorts of crud that are going on, <clears throat> and our 40 metre vertical is sitting here, right, what angle is that, oh, I don't know, one, two degrees, if that was to scale, uh, let's just say two then, two degrees off a horizon, I'm still receiving this at minus 10, and on the dipole at two degrees off the horizon, depending where it is, over here it's minus 18, and up there it's minus 21. So it's at least 10 dB difference. So that satisfies why I think verticals aren't noisy. What they're doing is they're doing the job they were designed for, which is to pick up low angle radiation. And let's just toy with this a minute, because if we've got a thing, all right, here, that is generating crud whatever that i'm not very good at drawing crud okay it's generating crud why is it our vertical picks it up better than dipole assuming that the dipole was a little bit higher i don't know <laughs> what i think is happening is that the vertically polarized 
element of the crud is finding it easier to move along the ground, right, as a ground wave. And that's why I think it's happening. If you know better, you let me know in the comments. So, I mean, I think the way out of this is how, how do we, wh what do we do, right? What we're, if, you, if you've got, you know, if you're living in a super high noisy environment anyway, right, it's just wall to wall noise. It doesn't really matter what you do, all right? A couple of things. You could probably put, here's a bit of a purple. You, you can put, if you've got some coax coming back to the check shack here, you can put some, you could put a heavy choke in, you know, a high impedance choke, one to one choke, as they call it, oh, just a choke there. And that'll at least stop the coax itself picking up any crud, all right? Um, and the other thing is, is you could have a very low to the ground or on the ground, some sort of antenna, probably a loop, all right? Because whereas our DX is coming in at an angle coming down, all right? Most of the crud from this house here is actually going up a bit. It's just the laws of nature, isn't it? The laws of physics, because we know that a 40 meter signal, if you've got crud emanating from something on 40 meters, well, look at it, there it is, elevation 45, say. Well, I don't need to do the one on the plot, but we know most of it will be going, if it's on that frequency, it'll be trying to just do its stuff. So if it's a couple of meters off the ground, and we could do that, two meters off the ground. What will it be doing? Well, it'll be trying to go up. It just will be because it's on that, it's on that wavelength, right? Unless it's magnetic, I assume, I don't know. But maybe I'm, yeah, am I clutching at straws? I don't think so. <laughs> but receive, receive loops, I think, is the next one. Okay, we'll do, we'll do a, because I've got two receive loops. One's gone AWOL, I don't understand why. We need to fix that. Maybe I'll try that tomorrow. And we'll talk about what's happening, because our DX is coming in at this angle, right? Anyway, between, well, three to eight degrees it's coming in at, whereas the house... RF is going away like this. So if we could get a very, very low to the ground antenna like on the ground or a foot off the ground, we're going to miss out more of the RF. And sure enough, on my, my big receive loop, it's a tiny bit quieter than the main vertical on 40 metres. I've got a 40 metre problem, OK? It's, I said something bacon frying. And it's a particular machine, which is fairly close by. And I'm thinking it's probably on the first floor because my loop can hear it very well. Because if it was on the ground floor, most of the RF would be would be missing it. But, I mean, I've got more more to do on that, including isolating the mains and a few other things. But, but there we are. So let's just conclude. Is a vertical fundamentally more noise than a dipole? Out in the wild, it's not. Is it very good at picking up low angle radiation? Yes, it is. Well, there's our answer. It's doing the job. Therefore, even a, like an IC7300, there's a mod for a receive jack. I don't know if you know that. A little bit of coax. Doesn't have to be high quality. All right, out, out to the backyard somewhere. A little bit of coax, a, some sort of ballon and a choke. To stop the coax picking it up. And there's a good chance you can, you can reduce that noise if you're in a very high noisy environment. I suppose if you only got one piece of coax, what do you want to do? Do you want to be able to transmit or do you want to be able to receive? Ideally, you want to do both. All right, next video is coming up here. Hopefully that gave you some inspiration. Uh, tune in next time. Let's, we'll talk about uh, receive loops fairly soon. Okay, next week or so. Okay, bye for now.